Aquarius, welcome to Pure Tarot. So I'm doing a quick reading um, to cover the rest of the year for you. The rest of December, I'm using one deck only, um, pulling only a few cards. I'm trying to uh, look at a high level view of what's in store for you um, for the rest of 2021. I'm only taking pop-outs, so please bear with me. <laughs> Shouldn't be too long. <laughs> okay, I have my four cards. Um, the Ace of Wands. High Priestess, Five of Pentacles, Five of Coins, and the Moon in Reverse. So, it's really interesting. There's a lot of um, Moon energy, Feminine energy, if you want. Um, feminine in the sense of the passive, the yin, the receptive, um, intuitive, introverted, um, sentimental. Nurturing to a certain degree, to a degree. Um, it's light though slight light whichever um not very pronounced the nurturing side of things but of of this energy but it's still there and it's it's interesting um it's there and yet it's not there so maybe that's why i picked up on it uh, you have the five of coins here so I was sensing the nurturing energy on um, growing something, um, the growth coming from something new, um, you know, this, this new shoot, this new tree on the Ace of Wands, as well as um, the nurturing side of, you know, the moon being Cancer and the sign of Cancer being um, all about food, <laughs> family, um, you know, nurturing others as well as being nurtured um, or how you nurture yourself, right? But you have the five of pentacles here, so uh, you're feeling a huge void uh, regarding feeling nourished. Um, It's an interesting energy because you did start with the Ace of Wands here. So there's something new in your life. Um, there's a brand new, um, it's like a, like a breath of fresh air. Like, a, you know, it's like you open the doors and you, you get all this uh, air, fresh oxygen comes off as uh, oxygen to breathe. Maybe you were recluse uh, for a while. Maybe you were, um, you know, staying home a lot, uh, being very quiet, introspective. Um, and then you might have been like studying um, and doing your own little things, right? Um, Aquarius is, uh, usually have a lot of um, interests. Uh, you're very curious. Um, and you do like to uh, dwell deep in different subjects. So you might have been doing uh, your own little going down the rabbit hole um, kind of research. Uh, you might have been studying. You know, she does have her book on her lap here. She knows. Uh, she knows to invest her time in, in knowledge. 
in things that bring her more knowledge. Even if she doesn't share it uh, with the world, uh, she likes to absorb it. Again, another form of nourishment, you know, the way you absorb food and nutriments, nutrients. And um, that's very strong here. So you might have uh, started a new uh, research. You might have uh, have encountered a new um, area of um, interest. You might have signed up for school for like a for some classes online, maybe, or maybe you just it feels more self taught to be honest and it comes from this um you know it's this is a self-serving energy the ace of wands doesn't want uh, doesn't wait for anyone uh, to start to get going on something um so self-serving right you are you're the own kickstarter <laughs> of of this thing for yourself um you have the motivation, you have the energy, I think you have the resources, I think everything's there. Mind you, um, I'm feeling this lack again, but I don't feel it's necessarily a lack of money. Although, for some people, it definitely will be um, maybe not having having enough money in general. Ah, I just got this idea. You might be studying um, how to make more money. <laughs> There's so many, um, how to grow your business, uh, your online business, how to grow your, um, yeah, your own business as a entrepreneur, um, entrepreneur, entrepreneur, I don't know how to say in English, entrepreneur, like when you're, um, your own boss, right? There's like books on this, there's like videos, there's like, um, and I think it's because you're tired of feeling, um, like you don't have enough and I think you um, it's really interesting it could be an online business about food like food critic food review recipes um, even being a caterer um, it's funny I get food and money so Either you don't have enough money or you're looking to build a business that will bring you money. It has to do with food and it also has to do, in a more general symbolic sense, has to do with um, the way you absorb knowledge, the way, the way you feed your soul, the way you feed your mind, your emotions, um, through the things that you choose to put your energy and your focus on you know, where you put your attention and where the focus is with the Ace of Wands. And the attention is, paying attention is on the High Priestess. It's, um, because paying attention is like, um, it's a little bit like tapping into your intuition. It has um, some kind of similarity. Um, when you pay attention, you have to be extra aware, right? So you need to develop your awareness through maybe meditation. And then when you become more aware, you know, you when you start paying attention, then you're usually quite... Um, open to all of these little um, signs or, you know, making, you know, allowing for your intuition to speak to you and allowing for you to hear it. Again, the notion of how you feed yourself. Are you, are you receptive? Are you allowing? Are you, you know, aware, uh, attentive? Uh, all of these um verbs, actions, or reactions. I don't know how to describe them. I think 
think um I think you're ready to to tell other people about this um I want to say this hidden hobby or this hidden uh, interest this hidden passion or all of this time that you've invested in research you know um I think you're wanting to 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 talk about this to say this uh, to to tell others that you are doing this that you are liking this that you are investing yourself um and maybe putting some of your money um which is <laughs> an, a costly investment maybe um or telling others that you're willing to start a business in order to make money maybe using your intuition a business where you'd be using your intuition it's really interesting i did pick up on the food thing though i mean literally <laughs> this card has been coming up a lot temperance that's great. I think you're, if you follow your intuition, follow your bliss, you will reach um, this perfect, uh, this perfect place uh, where you know that you're on your ex. You know when when you say that is, it means that you're doing the right thing. You're, you found your, you know the the thing that you really like the. <laughs> it's a beautiful energy there's, there's so much uh, feminine energy in this reading you know and this is the water bearer right um, kind of I mean it's not it's not the star card but she is um moving water between two vases um this is a sag card sagittarius's card but still um i'm looking at the picture right you might have sagittarian placements sagittarius uh placements as well as pisces by the way And I want to, hmm, the moon, the moon is also very important for you. I wouldn't want to say your moon is necessarily in one of those two signs, but I think that the phases of the moon um, affect you greatly. It's an interesting read. I think that you are um, I just want to see if uh, you're really going to take this on as a business because um, I'm sensing you're looking to make more money because you're feeling like you don't have enough at the moment. But I'm curious to know let me see this one wanted to come out. Four of coins in reverse. It's really strange. Why are you letting go of material stuff? I mean, I got these cards for Capricorn just now. It's interesting. I'm not getting any uh, of the business cards I was thinking might come out to describe if you were going to take this business idea further, right? To look into that for you. And um, what came out is that four of coins in reverse and it just feels like um, 
you're sensing you need to let go of um of something it could be like an old way of an old way of relating to money i think this these two cards are tied in terms of um the way you perceive money the way you again i was describing you know how do you feed yourself right how do you feed your soul how do you feed you know your mind etc your heart but it, it could also be how do you feed and fill your wallet how do you um, attract money how do you make money how do you generate money and i think that you need to let go um i think you're very um insecure and this comes off as you know you're you're putting it out there and it's breaking the flow um if you if you let go you'll get the flow back of of um of what this you know what money really is which is energy right um Maybe there's also insecurity here on, on this moon card. But there's, there's definitely, um, it's really interesting. I'm starting to see these as three pairs. This is the first pair of cards where you're totally lit up by a passion and you're you're keeping it under wraps here is a uh, feeling a lack um, of resources and um, opening yourself up to uh, telling others about um, this possible new idea that you have uh, to generate money and wanting to expose that and here um, changing your attitudes and approach to how you hold on to things and present your own possessions in order to get a better um, I want to say a better flow and and the flow pertains to how you draw money how you create a business that you know brings in money that's so weird what i find weird is that the four of coins and the five of coins are not big money cards, right? But yet, in this reading, uh, they scream money. It's like, um, they scream money because of the lack of, it's like, you know, those pictures like a negative, you know, it's, it's like, um, you're seeing something because of its absence, right? And, and again, needing not to hold on, not, not holding on to like, am I going to make money? Is this going to make money? This is going to cost me money if I start this, you know, all of these, um, um, insecurities here. You want to be in this state right here. Let me show you. You want to be uh, like this. You want to be super um, intuitive and like super in tune with yourself. And you want to be extremely balanced. So it's almost like um, inwardly and outwardly, the two facets of yourself. Um, but they're both very peaceful. You know, I sense them to be very peaceful. Anyway, 
this should be quite a good business uh, idea. Let me see if I can get one card on this Ace of Wands. Hmm. Three of Wands in reverse. I think it's something you've attempted before. It's something you've tried before that didn't work out. And this is why you're feeling insecure. This is why you're insecure um, about investing resources and, and actually doing this again. Maybe that's why um, you're holding on to the idea of um, past failures here, past failures. Crushed dreams, you know. The moment was never right, that's what I'm hearing. It was never the right time. So maybe you didn't really fail, maybe you just failed to launch. Anyways. I want to leave you on a positive note of showing you the the passion that's contained in these two cards um, and um, and the bliss that you can re that you can reach um, if you strive to make it a reality here and and open yourself up to the world with this idea. And this business, uh, this business idea. Anyways, Aquarius, much luck with this. I encourage you, encourage you to try, strive for your dreams and um, make it work. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I'll see you soon.